What's up everybody, I'm Logan from Sleepopolis.com and today I'll be comparing the Nectar and Dreamcloud mattresses. I'll give you their similarities, their differences, and who I think would benefit from going with one over the other. So stick around to find out if you should buy the Nectar or Dreamcloud mattress. Now the first way I'm going to differentiate between the Nectar and Dreamcloud mattresses is by showing you the differences in the materials used in the layers of them. So I'm going to start with the Nectar. Now the Nectar is an all foam bed in a box mattress and the cover is made of a cotton and tensile blend. Now below the cover we get to the comfort layer of the mattress which is three inches of memory foam. And then below that we have kind of this contouring layer of the mattress which is another two inches of memory foam. So with five inches of memory foam on top of the Nectar you're going to be able to sink really deep into the mattress. You're going to get that classic memory foam feel, that contouring around your body. It's going to have that slow response to pressure, so there's not going to be a lot of bounce on the Nectar, but you will be able to sink in for some nice pressure relief. Now below that, you have uh, six inches of high density poly foam, which is kind of the support center of the mattress. It's a really common layer in a lot of all foam bend to box mattresses because it's got this firm feel to it. It does a good job of supporting that soft memory foam on top of it and also giving shape to the Nectar itself. Next up, I want to talk about the materials in the Dreamcloud mattress, which is also a bed in a box, but it's a little bit different from the Nectar in that it is a hybrid construction, which means it uses a mixture of foam and coil layers, whereas the Nectar was all foam. Now, the top of the mattress has the cover, which is a cashmere and polyester blend, and there is a foam pillow top on top of the Dreamcloud, so just like the uh, Nectar, it uses softer foams on top to allow you to sink in for pressure relief. The difference comes below that pillow top where the uh, Nectar used high density poly foam for support. The Dream Cloud is actually using pocketed coils. Now those pocketed coils are going to give you more of a traditional feel to the mattress, some good bounce and mobility. Whereas on the Nectar, you're going to feel a little more sunken into the mattress. The Dream Cloud, you're going to feel more on top. You're going to be able to change positions and it's going to have a little bit of a firmer feel to it. Now something that's nice about the Dream Cloud is that wrapped around the entirety of the pocketed coil support is a high density polyfoam edge support layer. So this is really just around the edge of the mattress. It's gonna give you a little bit extra support near the side so you don't collapse the side when you roll over uh, towards the ends of the bed. Help you feel a little bit more secure at the ends of the bed and I think it's a really nice touch for couples. Now, of course, the thing you're going to want to know most about when talking about a new mattress is what it feels like to actually lie in bed. So I wanted to give you a little bit of the differences between the Nectar and Dream Cloud when it comes to firmness and feel. First up, the Nectar mattress, which in my opinion comes in at like a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale, 10 being the firmest. That puts it right in the medium range. Uh, some of my other testers here at Sleepopolis found it to be just a little bit firmer, so it kind of averages out to like a 6.5 out of 10. That's pretty much right in that medium range, that nice mix of support and pressure relief. Now, again, it has a lot of memory foam on top of the mattress, so you are going to sink into the mattress a little bit. Even when I was lying on my back with my weight evenly distributed, I could feel myself start to sink into the mattress. You feel that contouring hug around the mattress. As you're changing positions, rolling around on the mattress, because of that slow response from memory foam, there's not a lot of bounce to it. So you may feel a little bit stuck in the Nectar. There's definitely more of an in the mattress feel than on top of it. Now, as I changed onto my side, side sleepers are going to really like the memory foam feel and being able to sink into the mattress. That's because it really helps with pressure relief. I think the Nectar is great for pressure relief. Side sleepers are especially uh, conscious of this fact because they have a higher weight concentration over lower surface area. So they end up pushing further into a mattress. And if you bump, bump up against a, a firmer section of the mattress, that can cause you to kind of get jammed up at the shoulders, cause you to have some pressure points at the shoulders, the hips, things like that. So in general, I really like the Nectar for side sleepers. Now rolling onto my stomach, what I'm really wanting to be conscious of is what my hips are doing in this situation. And I think the Nectar is not the best choice for stomach sleepers because of that same thing of allowing you to sink into that five inches of memory foam on top of the mattress. Uh, you know, if you are a stomach sleeper, you're going to want to have your hips aligned so that your back is aligned in a good position. For me personally, I found that my hips were sinking into the Nectar, sending my back out of alignment a little bit. So while I do really like the pressure relieving benefits of the Nectar for side sleepers, I don't think it's the best choice for stomach sleepers. Next up, the Dream Cloud mattress, which in my opinion has kind of that six and a half to seven out of 10 range on the firmest scale. So 
a little bit firmer than the Nectar overall. It's still in that medium to medium firm range. Uh, so combo sleepers, I think, are going to be pretty happy on the Dream Cloud. Now, the difference in construction makes it feel a bit more like a traditional inner spring mattress with those pocketed coils and the nice pillow top foams for the mixture of support and pressure relief. Now, when I was lying on my back, there is a little bit of sinkage into those softer foams, but I definitely felt more on top of the Dream Cloud than sunken into it. The cover of the mattress is uh, tufted, so it has a little bit more tightness to it, so you feel like you're able to change positions a little bit easier. Less of a stuck feeling like in that slow moving uh, memory foam on the Nectar, so you're able to kind of have a little bit more mobility on the Dream Cloud. Now, rolling onto my side, it is that medium range on the firmness scale, so I think most combo sleepers are gonna be okay here. Uh, even though it is a little bit firmer than the Nectar, I think if you spend you know, your night kind of rolling around, changing positions from your back to your side, something like that, you'd be okay on the Dream Cloud. I think strict side sleepers are probably gonna prefer the Nectar, but uh, you know, it's not a bad choice for combination sleepers. Now, rolling onto my stomach, I did feel that this mattress is a little bit firmer, so like I talked about, it kept my hips from sinking into the mattress, keep my spine aligned in a better position. Uh, so if you are a kind of a strict stomach sleeper, I think the Dream Cloud would be a better choice than the Nectar because uh, I did a good job keeping my hips from sinking in the mattress, keep my spine aligned in a good position. Now it's time for recommendations. Who should buy the Nectar? Who should buy the Dream Cloud? We're gonna start with the Nectar. I think that the Nectar is a better choice for the side sleepers out there. Like I mentioned a couple of times, there's five inches of memory foam on top of the Nectar, so you're gonna be able to sink deep into bed. It's really gonna help you with pressure relief. Side sleepers really have to pay attention to that so they don't bump up against kind of firmer layers that can cause them to feel kind of jammed up at the shoulders or the hips, cause pressure points to form in those locations. So because of the really nice uh, pressure relief of the five inches of memory foam on top. I think the Nectar is a better choice for the side sleepers out there. Also, it's kind of simple, but if you love the feel of memory foam, the Nectar is the choice of choice for you. If you really like that feel of sinking into bed, that contouring hug around your body, the Nectar is really going to allow you to do that, give you that feeling. Uh, even if you are a back sleeper, you should feel like you're kind of sinking into bed a little bit, get that nice uh, pressure relief there as well. So if you're a side sleeper and you love the feel of memory foam, the Nectar is going to be the choice. Now for the Dream Cloud mattress, I think it's a better choice if you're looking for firmer support. It has the pocketed coil support layer below, gives it some nice bounce, does a nice job of keeping your hips from sinking into the mattress. This is especially nice for back or stomach combo sleepers because it's gonna help keep your spine aligned in a good position while you're in those positions. I also think that the Dream Cloud is a better choice for the couples out there. If you sleep with a partner, you know how important it is to have the most space possible on the bed. The edge support portion of the Dream Cloud mattress allows you to sleep all the way to the ends of the bed without worrying about collapsing it, makes the bed feel a little bit bigger. Another big plus about the Dream Cloud that I found while doing my full review of the mattress is that it does a pretty good job of isolating motion transfer. Basically, that means if you have a restless partner, it's gonna do a better job of kind of dulling that disturbance down as they kind of roll around in the middle of the night or get into and out of bed. So for the Dream Cloud mattress, I recommend it to those people who want firmer support and for those that sleep with a partner. So now that I've talked about the materials used, the feel of the mattresses, my recommendations for each of them, I wanna give you a little bit more purchasing information on both the Nectar and Dream Cloud mattresses. First up, the trial period. They both have a year-long trial, so you can have them into your home up to a year, deciding whether or not they're the right mattress for you. In terms of a warranty, they both have lifetime limited warranties. You wanna check out exactly what those uh, policies cover on their website, but those are pretty impressive warranties for the bed in box market. In terms of shipping, they are both bed in box mattresses and they both ship for free. Now the difference in price is actually pretty substantial. The Nectar mattress is much less expensive with the uh, price range going from $399 to $899 depending on the size you buy. And the Dream Cloud mattress ranges from $899 up to $1,399. So that's it for my comparison of the Nectar and Dream Cloud mattresses. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now, if your mattress search continues, just hit subscribe because we're gonna keep putting out more reviews and comparisons to help you find the right bed for you. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you don't miss any of our sleep news or our giveaway announcements. And check out sleepopolis.com for all of your sleep needs.